Okay, Dawn here again. I've got a new uh, order from Walmart, like that really matters. Um, but here's what I'm showing. Oh, yeah, you can't really read it. Oh, it might, well, that's sideways, isn't it? These phones can be turned either way, so anyway, that's fine. Um, this should be two more. Um, Alcatel pop star phones. I always forget. A4 something or A84 something. What will be in here? Okay. <clears throat> so this time I make on this video. I thought, hey, I can just set this on my keyboard tray and not uh, be shaking all over the place. I also went through. I'm using open camera for Android, and uh, also there it is. There's two of them. I already got one and I've been playing with it for about a week. That's what I'm recording on. Anyway, I went through the settings and set it as high quality as I could. I have a 32 gigabyte SD card, so I've got everything. It's set as the default storage. Started out, you know, uh, actually not knowing how to do this. This is my first smartphone after all these years. I've read about Android apps for years, loved Linux, and uh, have used Linux since 2005 as my main OS. I've tried out many distro distros and I never had played with Android so now I'm playing with Android or yeah yeah Android okay so is that the right name for the operating system so anyway I've got another one for my mom and another one for me because who doesn't need two smartphones right now if these cameras are I mean they're five megapixel pictures and uh, you know of course, there's no zoom or anything, but hey, my stuff is mostly old, and uh, the, the highest uh, megapixel camera I had, which died, was like 2 megapixels, 1.7 megapixels. It was a Nikon, and it had a good lens, so it would make good macro pictures. Uh, so far, I haven't really got any good. Like, I like to, I, I'm always on the computer working on stuff, and I uh, very often take... Uh, screen pictures. Now, I take screenshots when I can, but I take screen pictures when it's not possible, when there's no application running that can do that. Uh, when things break, things I want to remember, you know, when things error and crash and all that, because I'm always experimenting. So, um, those things, I don't, didn't mention it in this video, but these things were, uh, look, I got my ticket. You could actually get that to where you could see it, couldn't you? I don't really want to show that, but they're fourteen eighty eight each on sale. They stayed on sale for a week or two, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't re resist the bargain. I'm not planning on activating. It's just pocket PC for me. I'm not planning on activating the. I'm trying to make the shadow where that'll read better. Get the light. Uh, I'm not activating this service right now. One, maybe one day I will, but I'm just playing with the phone, uh, the pocket computers for me. That's what they are. So uh, I haven't had a mobile phone since 2000 or 2001, and uh, I, I, I was I was on the internet with the phone when it first started out, but you know it wasn't very usable. And uh, I like to do I, I can't uh, can't see well enough to uh, do all this stuff. It, on the phone, especially the way they used to be, but now um, I, I, it's really straining my eyes doing this every day for a week. Uh, so what I I've, I've been trying to I've tried out uh, Team Viewer, uh, VNC client and server, and it works, but it, it it doesn't refresh quick enough to 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 work. You know, it goes through their server instead of straight on your your network, your Wi-Fi network. And the best speed I've got out of these phone is like 39 megabits, and I have uh, uh, my router. One of them will do like 300 megabits, and the other one's 54 megabits. An old Linksys. So, and my newer TP-Link router that'll do about 300 megabits. Uh, well, it's got two speeds. If, uh, five gigahertz will do 300 or something, 350, 400 megabits, and then the other, the uh, two gigahertz will only do 54 megabits but it actually works faster on this phone than the Linksys did for some reason found a cool app that helped me I don't know if actually I actually haven't tried it on the Linksys but there's an app I found that uh, will um, show you Wi-Fi on a graph and where, where your radio signals are and I use that to uh, readjust the channels on my 
on my router, so I haven't. But I, I forgot. I haven't really. I'm, got, I'm sidetracked on. Main thing I want to do is get VNC working, so that I can uh, see my phone on the screen and use my mouse and keyboard. And there's a, several different ways I've found. There's an app that you can plug. You can either do it on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or uh, or uh, USB, and I've been using the USB to sync my files and all the stuff that I've downloaded so that I won't lose them because I'm installing and uninstalling, and it's really weird in the app, Google App Store when you uninstall something, it still shows to be installed, and uh, nothing more to show here, is there? It still shows to be installed, and uh, you know, you can't just go reinstall it. I reinstalled something by, I don't remember, I went to their, I did something, I reinstalled, I thought, hey, maybe I did like that app when I reinstalled it. Uh, and then I uninstalled it again because I decided, no, I don't like it after all. But anyway, um, I went to, I don't remember how I found a way to do it, but it was through, I did do it through Google Play, but I found some background, I might have went to their website and then clicked on the Google Play link there. I don't remember, I don't even remember the app. Anyway, I'm rambling. So uh, this is a test video, and uh, I'm test. I'm trying to see what how I, you know what app the, the native app that came with the phone or uh, <coughs> or this uh, open video, which one will give me the best. I'm trying to get the sh uh, sh the light from <laughs> and how I can get the best video that I can on the phone. Uh, I know I'm gonna. Uh, I can already tell it's gonna be better videos than. Uh, uh, than what I could get before, like with, well, I, my web, my webcam and my laptop does do a higher, you know, a larger, higher resolution video. It's like 1200 by 1600. These are like 640 by 480 or something. But uh, the cool thing about this app is I can set the settings the way I wanted them. And uh, except for I did have to set the bit rate to, I had it set to like one. Highest it would go, 100 megabits something like that and, and it, it crashed the app when I started up so I just went back to clicked on default so whatever that is in the phone but and I figured out in the phone it makes a huge difference to turn on HDR so uh, the phone app that came with the phone so uh, on the, and the clarity and the quality of the video so I did that on this one and it looks like it won't stay on HDR on that other app on this one I think it will so That'll be good because I, I want to get the settings I like and then leave them there. I mean, there's some things you need to change. Like I had to set the lighting, change it to uh, fl fluorescent because that's what I have in here is fluorescent bulbs. And uh, it actually made it much better. It was Everything was really badly washed out uh, until I did that. So um, I... Uh, <coughs> experimenting and I want to get what I'd like to do is get to the point to where I can uh, oh and I found the uh, I'm not moving the phone this time but I found the stabilizer and it wasn't turned on because you know when you move the phone it's hard to move a phone around in a steady way to where you don't get a real jerky video there's my hand with the uh, shadow of my fingers can't really make it out but um, so uh, yeah, I turned on the auto stabilizer. We'll see what the, I won't be able to see what that does in here, but I will later. And with the two two phones, see, I can set up one on like a stationary position. I may even find maybe I can find a selfie stick that I can mount on a tripod or just a mount that you know cl clamp the phone and then put it in a tripod. I have two little short tripods, little mini tripods that I can use. But of course, one of them I might want to handhold or hold the tripod or hold a selfie stick or whatever to move it around while the other one does a wide shot, you know. And then there's this software. Uh, I, I found software several years ago that that's what kind of, I've been wanting to get these a phone or two or a couple of cameras for this reason. And of course for 15 bucks, two cameras, two phones, you can't beat it, right? 15 bucks each. So, um, and the SD cards, I ended up spending $22 on a phone and an SD card. So, uh, I only got one SD card right now. for. Or my second phone, I didn't get one yet. So, uh, anyway, uh, this application, I can't think of the name of it either. I've been doing so many different things today, I can't think of anything. Um, the application, uh, you can upload 
uh, th you go to a website with this this particular one and you upload uh, two different camera angles you know of the same thing and it will automatically edit it for you and give you the best shot I've seen the result videos and it's pretty cool there's a, I do know this Kodak developed this kind of thing and but it's they're still working on it. it's proprietary you know they're not going to let anybody use it probably for years until they put it in their cameras or something or in, in an editing suite that they sell but this outfit's doing the same kind of thing could even be the same basic technology because it started out as an open source project in a school in a college um, anyway uh, there used to be when I first discovered it I can't find my links that I had saved but uh, my bookmarks but I did look it up on Google and found if I had my browser in the right place, I'd tell you the name, but I don't, so it'd take too long. Uh, I found the web a website that does it. I found one that was no longer there anymore. Could have been the original one I found. I don't know, but anyway, originally you could put the apps on your phone, you know, and do it, uh, edit it that way. But uh, I thought you could anyway. That was the whole thing. Uh, well, maybe it was just the uh, app to send it up. Might have been what it was. Uh, they didn't have it available for anything but Android. That's my whole long story. Uh, and that's kind of really what got me to buy these two little phones so I could try out that video, video editing. I like to make videos, but I don't like to spend hours and days editing videos. I've got all kinds of videos that I haven't ever edited and uploaded. So uh, we'll see. It sure is easy to just grab the phone and make a video. That's cool, even though it's not high quality. So... Uh, this is Dawn, and we'll, this is a test video. Bye-bye.